repeat. Reporting live on Waste Beat Wednesday. Waste Beat, look at Sunshine. In half a mile. Waste Beat Wednesday. Waste Beat Wednesday. Waste Beat questions. Tell me, I want to know everything. This is Donna with the mess, and my news is real. It's like, now I'm just joking. Yes, Waste Beat Wednesday. Let's talk about it. Let's fucking talk. Uh, repeat. If you have any, <laughs> if you have any waste beat questions, don't the fuck do that. It's like nah, don't hold them back. Let's talk about it. Waste beads and hysterectomies. Waste beads and periods. Waste beads and twerking. Let's do it. Waste B Q and A. Waste B question number one. Can you work out in your waist beads? Fucking right. Always wear your waist beads when you work out. So when you lose inches in your brain, you can look and be like, see that? See that? See them inches falling off? Waste beads and salt water. Can you swim in the ocean with your waist beads on? Of course you can. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do in life. Should you? I don't fucking know. It's like, nah, I do know. <laughs> I do know. Because salt water tears up anything. Like, it it destroys wood. Depending on what your waist beads are made out of, you might want to stay away from salt water. Ah, if you got some of my shit, don't you put them waist beads in that goddamn salt water. Second, well, sorry. Third waist bead question. How many waist beads should you get? The more, the fucking merrier. If you got so many damn waist beads that they touch your titties and the bottom of your waist beads touch your drawers, you a goddess. Like, it's no, the more, the fucking merrier. Fourth, no. Fifth waist bead question. How, if I have crystals on my waist beads, how often should I charge my crystals? I say you should maybe charge them once a month. That's how often I charge them, but see fit to charge them as much as you like. You can use salt water, you can use the moon, and you can also sage your crystals. Some people I heard bury the crystals in the dirt. I never put my shit in the dirt. I respect it too much, but it's up to you how you charge your crystals. Se- oh, six, fifth, I don't fucking know. So somebody said, can waist beads change your menstrual flow? I did a poll. I make waist beads. I've made over, I don't even know how many orders. I lost count. My waist bead warriors, my waist bead warriors said that it actually lightened their flow or didn't change their menstrual cycle. People got regular African waist beads and said that, not for me, said that, it made their cycle worse. I would say to understand that anytime you get anything from somebody that got to do with crystal, anything, it's a transfer of energy. You probably gonna get whatever was manifesting or going on in the person while they was making it. So choose your waist beads wisely, or your waist bead maker wisely. I'm just saying. Coming one with your waist beads is a very easy, fun, delicate process. It's like, nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. Alright, becoming one with your waist beads. If you already put them on, take them shits off. You are, my waist beads have crystals. Um, so what you're supposed to do is, is you're supposed to sage your waist beads down before you put them on. Cleanse the energy on your waist beads even though I'm sending some fire. You can still sage them. You can also meditate with your waist beads, pretty much programming the crystals and telling them exactly what you want them to do and how you want them to operate. Put your waist beads on. You're going to have to wear them consistently. So you want to wear them. And if you got them around your belly button region, it should be fairly easy. You shouldn't even have to deal with anything popping or breaking. Wear them as long as you feel comfortable to wear them. Take them off when you feel uncomfortable. Go back at it again. It's like riding a bike. The longer you wear them, the more you become one with your waist beads, and then y'all just... Next question, what are the waist beads for? All right, so waist beads are for everything that you do in your whole entire life. Like MasterCard, do not leave home without it. It's like, nah, for real. Waist beads are supposed to connect you to your African history and heritage. Um, It's also supposed to connect you to the crystals and their energy that are on the waist beads. Waist beads are also supposed to help you with your weight gauge, so you know if you lost or you got skinny. Waist beads are supposed to help you with wound wellness. Um, Waist beads is supposed to help you connect with your divine feminine energy that I talked about in the video before. 
Um, waist beads is supposed to accentuate your curves. Waist beads is supposed to help you feel sexual and sensual and things of that nature because they actually help you know yourself um, done right done right so waist beads is for everything and um if you needed them to help you with making a baby they could but i mean a lot of us already got kids and we don't need no more so craziest youtube question today can you fuck in waist beads sis you should never fuck without waist beads when as you throwing it back it should be clack in always fuck with the waist beads on can you fuck with waist beads on it's some fucking with waist beads on is like fucking with condoms. You need them. Tis this season to stop following people that don't inspire you. If they do not spark interest or inspire you to be great, unfollow them. I said my edges ain't laid like they used to. Yeah. I said my edges ain't laid like they used to. Yeah. I said my edges ain't laid, edges, edges ain't laid. I said my edges ain't laid like they used to. <laughs> Hashtag got the beads out. Hashtag got the beads out. This is so cool. Hashtag be, beads on the bamboo. Put the beads on the bamboo, baby. Put the beads on the bamboo. Put the beads on the bamboo. What? I'm putting these beads everywhere in Hannah. Put the beads in Hannah. Hashtag beads out. Happy Friday, ladies. Happy Friday. My energy's back. I don't know what the fuck happened. Hashtag today. If your beads ain't twerking, <laughs> you ain't working, baby. You know what I was thinking about yesterday? You've been at your job for however many years and however many positions, and you never got into a knockdown, drag out argument with any of them motherfuckers at your job. Which means that you give the people on your job more respect than you give the people in your house. You gotta start, we gotta start giving more respect to the people that's really important. If you could be cordial with the people at your job, that means that you could talk to maturely and discuss some shit that you got a problem with instead of acting out in your house don't do that don't do that lady. 2019 we is not slaying no more sis we fucking them up with these waist beads y'all we is fucking them up with these waist beads wait till the summer i bet you you think i'm drinking these smoothies for nothing snatch i'm about to fuck them up with these waist beads question again is it okay to wear waist beads to have class because they're not traditional all right listen when they first started rocking the afro old heads was like eh, i don't know about it when they first started wearing fades niggas was like what the fuck remember the white tee era when niggas wore tees to their feet everybody was questionable about it as everything evolves it's supposed to get better you want to wear traditional waist beads wear that shit you want to wear waist beads with the clamps? Wear that shit. It's, the ancestors is not going to stop fucking with you because you got a clasp or a string. Just stop it. Girl, stop it. Question again. How young or old can I start wearing waist beads? All right, so if you wanted to gift your daughter a set of waist beads, I suggest you gift her around her first menstrual cycle, make it a rites of passage. How old? You can wear waist beads. My mother is 69, and she wearing waist beads. And if her shit drops, she be like, then make me another pair. So it's really, it's really up to you. But I think, you know, if you haven't started them as babies wearing waist beads, then maybe you should gift your daughter a set when she goes on her first menstrual cycle or maybe when she's in high school whatever you think is best question are waist beads spiritual or are they just for fashion they for whatever the fuck you want them to be if you got a yellow shirt and you want to wear yellow waist beads wear your goddamn yellow waist beads if you want to get deep and let the waist beads lead you figure out your tradition figure out what they mean in africa i will help you if you want to wear them for crystal healing because that's the only way you can put crystals on your womb, wear them for that. Wear the waist beads for whatever the fuck you want. Like, that's the spiritual process, people. You don't need a leader. You got to do what's good for you. Know thyself. They say teaching self to self is the most difficult thing. Why my waist beads? Okay, I vested a lot of time and energy into making my waist beads very durable very comfortable sending loads of positive and y'all know how my energy is i'm shipping this shit out 
It's going everywhere, overseas, everywhere. Secondly, when you get my way speeds, you get a customer service experience like no other. If you're a newbie, we can chop it up, talk about colors, what they mean. I can give crystal recommendations. We can talk about whatever you need, what you're trying to manifest in your way speeds. Third, if you grab my way speeds, you're eligible to join in every waist measurement challenge I have. I do it every other month. It's a sisterhood like no other. We talk about spirituality, getting more healthy, wound wellness, anything you could imagine we talk about during our waist measurement challenges. And guess what? At the end, if you lose the most inches, you get a fucking mystery box. Can waist beads help with fertility? Well, fertility is a holistic issue so when you start trying to figure out what's going on or trying to get more fertile i recommend you start with diet mind state exercise mental health any health problems you having and then you say okay can waste beads help me of course they can that will be a way that you can put certain crystals to vibrate certain energies on your womb. Rose quartz is supposed to help with that. Aventrine is supposed to help with that. Moonstone is supposed to help with that. You can put all these crystals on your womb area to begin the experience to become more fertile. So do waist beads help with fertility? Fucking right. You combine that with everything else and you start your journey. You might got to put the blunt down though. Because that's stopping y'all. Some of y'all, that's fucking y'all up. You might got to put the blunt down if you want to make these babies and get some waist beads. And there you go. Can you wear waist beads while you're pregnant? I recommend wearing waist beads while you're, cre you're pregnant. Because what it does is any crystals or energy that are in those waist beads gets transferred directly to the baby. So if you were to wear a citrine, it would then vibrate a happy and promote like financial wellness to you and the baby. If you were to wear a venturine, it would vibrate prosperity for you and the baby. These are things that you want. Rose quartz, it's a love, it's attraction. It will build the bond between you and the baby. Some cultures in Africa say, some tribes in Africa say, the more crisp, I mean, the more charms you wear on your waist beads it's more the protection for the baby so either way you're giving your baby an amazing start and we as mothers know we have to create a positive womb environment to birth the baby in so your baby ain't always in drama you don't want to start that drama shit early real talk we talked about this before but people say how do i program my waist beads well if you got them on take the motherfuckers off but if you done put them on, you are supposed to meditate with your waist beads and whatever intentions you want, um, you push it into the waist beads. So if you want your business to be better, you got to train on your waist beads. You tell it to do whatever the fuck you want to do, just like you would program any crystal that you bring in your house. Um, you meditate with your crystals. You meditate with your waist beads. You can have them on um, or you can take them off. Um, and you just you put any intention that you want into the waist bead and it is supposed to work just like any other crystal or any other tool for manifestation. So that is how you program your waist beads. Can waist beads help with meditation? I found this out actually with one of my waist measurement challenge winners. She said that as she meditates, she becomes one with her beads. And as they roll up, she breathes. And as they roll down, she exhales. And it actually helps you to uh, pace or set a rhythm of your meditation. I said, damn, sis, you really fucking them up. But you really is fucking them up with this. So I tried it and the shit worked. So waist beads actually can help you with your meditation and your breathing when you get mad at a motherfucker in the job watch them bitches go up and down <sighs> for real so try it breathing exercises and waist beads go together meditation and waist beads go together perfect perfect i started the waist measurement challenge because almost everybody almost 95 percent of the people that purchased waist beads from me said that they were buying them to lose weight and after you get them then what you can't just put them on and they make you lose weight. It's certain things you got to do. So, being as though I'm also always on the weight loss journey, I figured that we could have a sisterhood circle that promoted better health, better diet, more fitness, not crazy fitness, but more fitness, and overall lifestyle change so you can start to decrease in the inches in your waist because waist beads is an ongoing journey. So, you're supposed to lose inches to the beads drop get more beads 
and that's how you become healthier so that's why i did it i mean it it helps me every other month it helps me to stay focused so i figured we could help each other hysterectomies and waist beads somebody said can you still have wound wellness with waist beads on your wound? Absolutely. There are places in this world that are still considered sacred spaces, even if there are no physical bodies there. Selma is still sacred and Martin Luther King didn't been passed. Jerusalem is a sacred place, even though they ain't find Jesus' body there at all. So with that being said, you treat your wound as that same sacred space, whether your uterus is intact, whether it is partial or whether it is gone, it is still considered a sacred space. You still put crystals on her, you still speak to her because divine femininity has a little bit to do with having a wound and everything to do with spiritual development and womanhood. So yes, still wear your crystals, still practice wound wellness. They still selling tickets to the to the egyptian pyramids and the only thing left there is hieroglyphics spiritual energy and some mummies and i y'all know i'm kimmit all day every day but at that same aspect that is still considered a sacred space that is still considered a speaker space they still taking us over to africa to see where the slave trade started it ain't no damn slaves still there but well maybe 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 skeletons but like I'm saying, it's still considered a sacred space. And I want you to hold your womb in that high of a regard. Ladies, we go through hell and high water with this womanhood, motherhood, wifehood, sisterhood, everything. The social Western society, the great and takes everything away from us. We will uplift these motherfucking wounds. You hear me? We will stand proud with uterus or without. We still women. 